Hey guys and welcome to my second and final vlog of exam season. I only had one exam this week so it's a slightly shorter vlog however I still hope you enjoy. It was still a crazy week nonetheless and stick around for an exciting interview that I also did with a member of ACCA. You sh you show me how to live in love. So tell me what you're thinking of. Someone please remind me why I booked Sainsbury's delivery for half eight this morning. I've still got my retainer in. Look at the state of me. And I've just had to open the door and collect all of this and put it in bags because I chose my delivery without bags. And I'm barely even awake. <laughs> amount of motivation today. It's currently quarter past two. I said that I was going to be at the library and working at two and obviously I'm still at home. I've done nothing so far today of use apart from going for a walk and having lunch and I have zero energy. I didn't sleep well, my period is really heavy. However, my exam is tomorrow so I really really need to pull myself together. I'm gonna leave and go to the library now and then I'm gonna try and stay for my whole slot which is till eight this evening and get through some work because I am not feeling confident for how managers make decisions. It was a one that I was worried about from the start. CSR and marketing were probably my strong points this term. How managers make decisions has not been and I don't know a lot and I know it's open books so that doesn't really matter however the point is that I still have to actually understand the information even if it's open book and currently I don't understand most of it so oh. ended up leaving the library around quarter past six so I didn't stay for my whole slot till eight but I got everything that I wanted to do done a lot faster than I thought I would so I thought there's no point in me just staying in the library and doing things for the sake of it. I may as well come home and have a relaxing evening and feel better prepared for the exam the next day so that is what I did. I just spent the evening reading my book and I also watched a film. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by ACCA. ACCA offer a flexible way for you to start a career in accountancy with a qualification that's sought after all over the world. To explain a little bit more, I had the pleasure of interviewing Amira, who's an ACCA member. She started her qualification in her home country of Pakistan and now works as an accountant in the UK. We had a super important chat all about inclusion and diversity and how ACCA is changing what it means to be an accountant. Who can do an ACCA qualification and become an accountant? ACCA is a very diverse qualification. You don't need to have a formal qualification or any formal entry route. It has a very diverse entry route. Anybody can do it, whether you have GCSEs or you have no formal qualification. There is no age limit for it, whether you are 18 or 45. Or the only thing you need is the commitment and hard work. What has surprised you most about ACCA and accountancy? So the most surprising thing for me that it is recognized internationally. If you have this qualification, you are employable any part of the world. 
your skills make you more employable. And the more fascinating thing about accounting for me that it gives you the power to read the numbers and to make the story about the numbers. If you'd like to find out more about ACCA and their accountancy qualifications, then make sure to check out their website for all the details. I'll have it linked down below in the description. Good morning, it is Wednesday, meaning it's the start of my How Managers Make Decisions exam. This one is also 48 hours, like my CSR one last week, which basically means that the paper gets released at 9 a.m. So now, basically, I haven't looked at it yet. And then I have 48 hours to submit three essays, this one is three essays instead of two like it was for CSR, but they're slightly shorter. I have um, a maximum word count of a thousand for each, which if anything isn't great because I feel like writing a good essay and fulfilling all the assessment criteria in a thousand words is going to be really difficult. I always get a lot of questions about what How Managers Make Decisions actually is because obviously the module title doesn't really give that much away. So if you are wondering what my modules are, then I have filmed an in-depth video about all of them before. So I'll put a card up wherever it comes up. Okay, 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 they're not that bad. To get started again, I'm gonna set a two hour timer on Forest like I did last time because I feel like working in chunks and then having a break worked well for me in the CSR exam. update it's currently half one i've just had a lunch break for an hour because i did three hours of work this morning and i'm actually making quite good progress i have pretty much finished my first essay however i got to about 500 words in of that essay and i was like i've genuinely got nothing left to say i've said everything that i think answers a question and i'm just repeating myself here or adding things that aren't necessarily relevant or answer the question. I've now got it up to about 780 and I've decided to just leave it there because I have said everything that I wanted to say and then also I can obviously go back and add to it or I can run over on another essay now because it's an overall word count of 3000. I've also done a brief plan of the second essay and now I'm gonna try and write all of that this afternoon. So then all I've got to do tomorrow is my third essay and then edit and improve all three of them and then submit them and sort out the references and stuff. So this is so bad. <laughs> I just finished writing my second essay. I think that is genuinely the biggest amount of waffle that has ever come out my mouth. Like I don't even want to look back at what I've just written. Just got changed because I've decided to go on a walk. It is chucking it down outside, but I'm honestly going slightly insane just staying in my room all day. And this essay is actually driving me up the wall. Like it's just not good. I'm not feeling good. So hopefully forcing myself out the house for literally like half an hour. I don't intend on going far. It's gonna help me stay focused when I get back this evening because I think this evening I wanna go over both the essays that I've written today, improve them because they definitely need improving and then also sort out referencing because I haven't been referencing as I go along which is definitely an awful idea and is gonna take me way longer to do now that I actually think about it. o'clock and I'm ready to crack on with day two of this exam. I feel like that came out a lot more optimistic and 
happy than I'm actually feeling. I didn't really vlog anything last night because I'm not gonna lie, I had a bit of a meltdown, I had a bit of a crisis when I got back from my walk and I didn't really do that much and I just wasn't in the frame of mind to film. I did sort out my references though for my first two essays. However, because I love making my life difficult, I actually decided that I want to do a completely different question than I'd originally planned. When I was revising, I looked specifically at three topics that I was most confident with. However, the question that came up is on the part of that topic that I'm least confident with. So I've changed it to a different one, which hopefully is gonna make my life a lot easier and it's a lot nicer question. Even though I knew I had to stay more focused than I did during my CSR exam, because in this exam I had three essays to do, I found it so difficult to focus. I think I just burnt myself out the day before. So on the Thursday, I made sure to take it slower and try and be more relaxed and chilled about it. So for example, instead of doing two hour blocks like I was doing previously, I was only doing one hour blocks and then having longer breaks in between. It's currently half one. I've just had an hour's break for lunch and now I'm gonna get back on with some work. It's actually going surprisingly well. I'm in a much better headspace than I was yesterday, which is great because I needed that. This exam needed that. Otherwise I would have actually submitted like the worst essays I've ever written, but I'm really happy with the one that I wrote this morning and it actually only took me two hours, which is bizarre. It's kind of making me think that I've done something wrong or like missed something out. Hopefully I haven't, but at least it means that now I've got like the whole afternoon to edit these essays and submit them because there's definitely a lot of editing that needs to take place. Seeing as my essays were going a lot smoother than the day before, I actually decided to go on a walk because the weather was so nice, the sky was so blue. However, I accidentally ended up going on a really long walk. I went on a slightly different route and ended up walking for about an hour and a half, which I know isn't that long, but when I'm mid-exam, you know, that's quite long. Oh my God, I am done and my final word count is only 24 four under so I was cutting it so fine oh my god and we are done I have just submitted it and I am so glad to see the back of that exam because that was so tough that was definitely the hardest out of all three but I'm just very glad it's over now because I wasn't the biggest fan of that module like it was interesting but it was really difficult but yeah that is exam season over now thank you very much for coming along with me i feel like these vlogs are always just a hot mess because i'm always a hot mess during exam season however it doesn't really feel very celebratory because now i need to get on with my report that's due on the 1st of february but i'm gonna have a few days off don't worry before I get started. I've actually booked the library for Sunday, but I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed these videos, and if you have, then make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and also follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. Bye, guys. Whoa.